Today we're speaking with AACR President-Elect, Dr. Judy E. Garber. Dr. Garber is the Director of the Cancer Risk and Prevention Program at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, an Associate Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School. She is Associate Physician of Medicine and Attending Physician of Medical Service at Brigham and Women's Hospital. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Garber. My pleasure. Congratulations on becoming President-Elect. What was it like when you found out that you won? Well, I was completely surprised. I certainly did not expect to win. My opponent, Eileen White, is a highly respected scientist. But I was thrilled and tremendously honored to lead this remarkable organization. What are some of your goals for your presidency in 2011 to 2012? Well, first, I think we want to maintain and enhance the momentum in cancer research. This is a remarkable time, and we want to do everything we can to keep that going. Secondly, I think we'd like to try and safeguard, and to the extent we can, enhance funding. Without funding, we can't do cancer research. And we have been able to identify new sources of funding. The remarkable SU2C program has been just amazing. And we are a granting organization. And we'd like to find new ways to really make cancer research possible. Third, I think we, we would really like to make the organization more accessible to young investigators. Young investigators are the future, and we have to find ways to make ourselves more available to them and to bring them in and support them in cancer research. And fourth, I think we'd really like to make the public more aware of what we do. They should be proud of the results of their investment. We have really done an unbelievable amount of science in the last 40 years, and we're now really on the verge of making these discoveries real progress for patients. We have to show them that that's possible. Could you expand a little bit on um, how the AACR impacts the field of cancer research? I think AACR has a tremendous impact. First, just as today, we have scientific meetings where the best scientists come together to share their ideas and educate each other and excite each other about new things that can be done. We have journals where scientists publish their work and exchange that work, and all of these things propel the world forward. We have, as an organization, really sought to make, our, to make science more available to the public as well, and to convince the funding agencies, Congress, the National Cancer Institute, of the value of the investment in this area, and this is a critical time for doing that, and ACR's role in that with our partners is even more important than ever. What are the challenges as you see it facing cancer research today? Well, it may be a cliche, but the main challenge is funding. It takes money to make cancer research work, and this is a time and an economy where it's more difficult to perhaps have as much investment as we would like I think at the meeting everyone can see just where we're going and it would be tragic not to have the funds to get there. So that is a huge effort that we have to mount. Um, secondly, I think we have to really find a way to support young people in cancer research. They have new ideas, they have new energy. We have to convince them that they can be supported to bring that energy to bear over a long career and that it will be worth it to do that and that it will be worth it to do that here in the U.S. and abroad. So what do you see then as the future of cancer research? It would be impossible not to be tremendously optimistic about the future of cancer research today. At this meeting we've heard about progress that I think we could only dream of before. I'm a, cl I'm a clinician. I treat patients and if I can convey some of the excitement to them and the optimism that we must have about where cancer research is going and the many very tangible benefits that cancer patients will gain in the near term, I think they will be very pleased and excited and hopefully will stay around to benefit themselves. Dr. Garber, thank you so much. My very big pleasure. Thank you.